Florida seagrasses provide food and habitat for fish, crabs, clams, and many other marine species. Recreational opportunities, the fishing industry, and the economy depend upon the health of seagrass. Boats running in too shallow water or running aground cause prop scarring. Prop scarring is generally when a boat's propeller digs up seagrasses, but it also includes damage to grasses by other parts of the boat. There are many things a boater can do to avoid destroying the aquatic plant. Knowing your boat is important because you need to know what the draft of your boat is. Uh, my boat, for instance, is not going to be the same as the boat that's coming up behind me. When moving through shallower waters, boaters should stay a foot above the top of seagrass blades. Boaters should have navigational charts, which indicate the depth of water, and tidal charts. Polarized sunglasses reduce glare and allow boaters to see the sea bottom and submerged objects. If you run aground or if you are in waters that are too shallow for your boat to navigate in, the first thing you should do is raise your motor and idle your boat. Once you get to that point, then a lot of times when you're, when you're down and flat in the water, you will drift and hopefully you'll drift beyond the um, shallow area. If they have an auxiliary motor that has a shallower draft, for instance, a trolling motor or just a smaller kicker motor, Oftentimes they can maneuver using that and get across the bar. A lot of boats have um, push poles that they can use and they can push their way out into the deeper water. And then of course we as boaters should not be afraid to get out and push if we need to, to get to deeper water where we can safely navigate. Because seagrasses are so important to Florida's economy and environment, damage to them can result in state and federal fines. If you'd like more information about Florida seagrasses, contact the Charlotte Harbor National Estuary Program at www.charlotteharbornep.org.